In the mid-80s, original Kiwi pub rock was the big thing in central Auckland, but further out, bands such as Adi Jar found things were a little different. Out in South Auckland, it was definitely all the freezing workers and the predominantly Maori and Polynesian audiences, uh, lower working class, uh, you know, tough jobs, but on the weekends they used to demand a high standard of entertainment. No one was interested in hearing original music by bands in those clubs. You were paid to, to cover other people's music. We were like um, top of the game and as in covers bands. We were playing that funk stuff and doing a really good job of it, but um, we ventured out into town and played glue pot. Oh, we were doing the covers thing there, you know, things were going fine until someone shouted out in the audience, play something original. It was like really haunting me, that, that voice, you know, play something original. Everywhere I went, you know, I was always waiting for that to happen again. And from that point on in my mind, I was like, oh man, okay. I think I'm gonna try and create something of our own, you know, our own sound. The combining of the Pacific rhythms with the funk rhythms, polyfunk was born. We were trying to put our Polynesian thing in there. How would we make it fit? And it did. And the band started attracting national attention with their new sound. Three singles from their debut album making the top 20 chart. It had that kind of different feel to it, you know. Um, well, punk rock for one thing. I was just love slapping that bass, and and at the same time, our guitarists were into the rock thing. So we kind of like stuck it all together, and then you know, <laughs> yeah, that was part of the development. Polyfunk is uplifting, influential. Polyfunk is Arija. Yeah. 